our next guest, our good friend, he knows who Flip Wilson is, and he's the Hall of Famer. Joe Namath, who had very interesting comments on social media yesterday, so we asked him if he'd come on, and he said he would. Joe, it's Michael and Don. Great to talk to you. How you doing? Fellas, I'm doing well, and uh, it's good to be with you, really. I'm looking forward to talking with you. All right, so let, let's obviously the, the, the big point of discussion today is about Zach. Did, let's start with a, with a quasi-positive, Joe. Did you take anything positive out of his performance yesterday? You know, you're talking about Flip. You got me thinking about Geraldine. <laughs> 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 you know what? No, I didn't take anything positive out of it yesterday. It was awful. Why? Why? Yeah. Were you watching? <laughs> yes. Is anyone watching? I mean, please, when did you ever see a, a well, well, it's Zach, we'll stay on Zach. You sit down? You sit down on the play? You go right down? What happens? I thought you're trying to win and make plays. You quit on a play? Mm -hmm. you, what is going on? It, it, it's disgusting. Well, and, and you brought up the coaching. How can a coach make things better for Zach? How can a coach say the locker room's together? How many teams have we been on? Are you telling me there aren't some cats on the defensive side saying, whoa, man, what's wrong with you? Yeah, there's not all harmony in the locker room. And if there is, they need to get rid of the people. You got to get people in there that are competitors and want to fight to win. These guys don't have to be in love with each other. And if, they, if they're saying they're in love with each other, they're BSing you. And you got to get rid of them, top to bottom. What would you, if you, if somebody handed you Zach Wilson and said, okay, Joe, make him better, what would you do? Send him to Kansas City to back up against somebody like Mahomes. Maybe he'd learn something. I wouldn't keep him. You know, I've seen enough of Zach Wilson. All right? I've seen enough. Has quick feet, can throw a little bit, but I don't believe what's going on up there. Yeah, that's the thing is that they're saying they believe in him. And they're backing it up, Joe, by not bringing in a, a veteran quarterback. Well, what could be Joe Douglas's motivation at this point with the season teetering of not bringing in somebody that has played in this league before outside of Tim Boyle backing up Zach? He picked these people. Douglas picked these people. So he's going to double he's down? What's he going to do? I can get rid of everybody. What do you got to start over? Uh, Mr. Johnson, hey, these guys aren't picking the right players. They're not doing a good job of coaching. It's evident. I mean, you, you got to look and see if you have an eye about football at all. You see things are haywire. It's too crazy. They need to fix it, and that's getting rid of a lot of people and bringing new ones in. All right, so, Joe, let's let's look at it this way. Obviously, they planned the whole offseason to have Aaron Rodgers, and Robert Sala was just on with the show and said, um, you know, that they, they catered an offense around Aaron Rodgers. Now they've got to find one for Zach Wilson. Do you buy that, and is that a tough thing to transition into a different offense for Zach Wilson? How many months ago was that to learn the offense? How many months ago was that? Come on. Now, Aaron, he got hurt. Okay, well, what do you think you have backups there for? They're ready to go. They're supposed to be ready to go. We're looking at an offense that just doesn't play well. Uh, you, you've got an offensive coordinator that doesn't seem to be calling the right plays. I, I, I just think it, for a fan, for this fan, they need to make major changes from top to bottom. Change. Does that include the head coach? Yes. You think he's part of the problem with Zach? When he's telling me that locker room's together, when he's telling me these guys love one another, yeah, well, thanks a lot. We can go back to whatever place you learn that stuff, but uh, they're losing. Guys don't like to lose. They don't, they're, they're not holding hands when they're losing. Well, here, here's a problem, Joe, that I, I wonder what you would do. <laughs> Nobody's going. In, <laughs> nobody's going anywhere unless Aaron Rodgers says so. 
Well, wait a minute. Aaron Rodgers is not coaching the team. He's not Woody Johnson. He, mm. He's not Christopher Johnson. Uh, come on. Uh, and, and, and what what guarantees are there other than one that worked out? What guarantees are there that Aaron's going to be able to come back? What are you talking about? Um, uh, you know, you're you're right, Joe, but football. you know how organizations are. I mean, this guy wants to come back, and if he wants Robert Sala to be his coach, if he wants Zach Wilson to be his backup quarterback, it, they're not in any position to say no because they, they want him to come back and play. Well, I don't know that they're not in any position to say no. I, I don't know the, contract, the contracts and how they're, they're structured. Maybe they are locked in, but I know one thing, if you're running that team as ownership, you don't lock yourself into that kind of a situation. Now, in watching him, Joe, uh, him being Zach Wilson, it almost looks like it's not reacting. It's not like using his talents. He's, he's overthinking things, and he's just not letting his talents take over. Are you seeing the same thing as if maybe, maybe he's overcoached? <laughs> I'm saying uh, I don't believe in him I don't believe he has a future as a good player and I think they made a wrong choice when they drafted him I feel that way uh, he has some athletic ability but uh, you've got to have something up here that's you know going on whenever you're studying and reading playing out there sitting down Sitting down, throwing the book, it, 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 it's ridiculous. Uh, you've got the wrong people playing and picking them. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's incredible. There, But there is an arm, there are legs, but well, is it one of those, <laughs> is it, I, I hate to say it this way, but is this one of the classic, you know, million dollar arm, 10 cent head? Well, I've never met Zach, so I don't know what's going on between the ears. I only know what I see out there. And uh, uh, it, it's hard to tell what's going on between a guy's uh, ears. And uh, the mind does play a major role on your team, in your team, and in every individual in your team. Whatever position they're playing, they have a duty. They have plays to carry out. And they have to do them with regularity. And he's far from that. Well, since they, they don't seem like they're going to make any change and they're, they seem like they're sticking by him, Joe, is, is there something they could do with him, like just make him run the ball? Is there anything they could do to salvage a little bit of the season if they're committed to staying with him? They're, they're committed to staying with him, and I gather they are because they don't have a... Uh, um, I don't know how good the backup quarterback is. The one that they traded away would be a good starter and it will be someday in white but meantime uh the players all collectively have to play better and they know that and uh i guess you don't point your finger at any one guy but as a fan i sure do uh, that the guy that handles that ball and has to make decisions he uh he's got to be right more times than not and we've been watching him for a couple of years now and uh I don't have any confidence in him at all. Is the offensive line good enough even if the quarterback was good? Because, look, Rodgers, it took four plays, and he's out for the season. Do you, do you not like what you see of the offensive line? The offensive line, uh, only in the backyard that I ever play that position. Uh, to me, they have, the, I think, the toughest job uh, when it comes to execution against animals uh, like those defensive fronts and linebackers that are coming the offensive line needs to improve that's for sure all the players out there need to improve but the offensive line do you man, like Garrett uh, Wilson from what you see of him they've got to get better real fast uh, or else it, it's well whatever else it's going to be a long season no matter yeah. what now you're going to lose the room. Joe? I mean, that's just going to happen, especially with the modern-day athlete. They're not going to want to take a knee on a season, Anthony? Joe, and, and Salah's going to lose the room. If you're a veteran in that room, what what can you say to try to keep everybody together as the losers, losses start to pile up? I'm not going to say if These guys are working for a living. You know, they're working for a living. They're professionals. They're getting paid. They're better play their butts off because that one-eyed monster – called that camera looking at them, evaluating every single move they make out there. That one-eyed monster tells no lies. 
it doesn't describe it. It shows every team around the league are looking at these films or these tapes. They see what the individuals are doing. Now, Mosley, I count on him. I don't think he's going to quit, and I don't think there's a lot of guys out there that are going to quit on the defense, on the offense. I don't think their guys going to quit because that's their living. They know they're being judged and evaluated on each play. They're going to try. They're going to try their best to play. They just don't have the talent up front. In my opinion, offensively, at this time, they can develop, and they certainly don't have the talent with the guy that handles the ball every play and has to make the decisions with the offense every single play. Uh, they, they, they don't have that. They got wide receivers that are outstanding. The defense is pretty darn good. The court, hey, there's good players on that team. You know, Joe, I've never uh, heard you this angry. Is this, is this the lowest point for you as a fan of this team? I think so. I, I think so. Uh, I hate losing uh, the fans. Though. I know we, we hate losing. And we were on teams. I was on teams that lost. It stinks. These players don't like losing. They're trying. Meantime, uh, the coaching, are they getting good coaching? I, I, I don't know. It doesn't appear like they are. I mean, calling good plays that I see running back that wants to run the ball more and, you know, take getting in arguments on the sidelines with coaches. Hey, Something's up that the players aren't happy with the way they're co getting coached. Mm. Yeah, I just, it's so difficult to to make a change uh, during the course of the season. Mm -hmm. I, I was mentioning that this is part of the trouble with having a defensive-minded head coach. I mean, it's such an offensive league now. It is Would things be better if you had an offensive guy as the head coach to at least be able to help the progression of this offense? I don't think that that's the major issue here. I think it is the personnel, uh, and that whether you're a defensive guy like Parcells, who could lead a team to championships, or an offensive guy. Uh, no, it's mm. it's the guys underneath. It's the assistants and the the, the head coach. Uh, even in, in college ball, oversees all of that, and he should be able to recognize what his coaches are doing and convey that to the general manager and go on, you know, but I don't know whether they protect one another or what, but uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's awful. It's awful. And it's hurting. Uh, uh, I had to smile though, when the guy spit his teeth halfway out of his mouth <laughs> yesterday, and that, that's about how most of us felt watching. It. You know, 15 straight losses to the Patriots, Joe, I mean, of all teams too, to lose that many to do you ever remember in your career whether it was alabama or with the jets that you had a team that just had your number like that i uh, know no no i i don't recall that and and i guess if we look at around the league uh are there any other teams that have lost 15 straight to an opponent a comp or a division opponent uh i don't know yeah and well, certainly not to someone that seems to hate the Jets as much as Bill Belichick does. It just drives Jets fans crazy. We're, we're talking to Joe Namath after another tough day for the Jets after they lose to the New England Patriots. I, I got to ask you as an offensive guy, we brought it up earlier in the show. Miami puts up 70 points against Denver. They can line up for a field goal to break the record. They say, ah, we don't want to embarrass Sean Payton. We're not going to kick it. But don't you think at 70 points you probably embarrassed them already? Would you be tempted to break the record? Or do you get what Miami did there? I get I get why Miami didn't uh, try to break the record. There, there, there is some respect for uh, coaches and players. And uh, you, how much you want to rub it in? You know, they, they, you've scored 70 points on the team. You've got them. They, 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 no, I, I, I like... Uh, that the coach didn't go for the field goal. Are you, I mean, look at uh, just to put up that many points. Just to look at this division, Joe. Right? I mean, uh, I think Buffalo is going to be fine. Miami looks like they're legit. Uh, it's it's going to be so difficult, even if the Jets were good, to be able to navigate through some of these good teams in the AFC and even in their own division. Well, if they were good, they'd make it. They'd make it enjoyable. Well, that's we true. You know, but they're not good. They don't have the personnel for the most part. But they're supposed to be talented. I mean, they've well, got receivers. You really well, think it's a personnel they, problem? 
I think every from the top to the bottom, from general manager to the head coach, down through the system, the way they're running it is it needs changed. God, and but there, it, it's so weird, Joe, because you're not wrong, but at the same time, waiting in the wings, you hope is going to be a healthy Aaron Rodgers next year. How, how much better do you think this team would be if Rodgers didn't get hurt? Or would they eventually get exposed for all the reasons you're talking? I, I have no idea. I just know it would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> how much better, I'm not sure. He, he's the kind of guy that can help out the offensive line, help out the defense just with his decision-making, where he's going with the ball, knowing what's happening. Yeah, you, you can't compare his leadership uh to anyone's on the on the Jets team, I mean, we, they they definitely miss him. He had, he was a major, uh, oh, he was a major warrior to bring in, and we were counting on him. But Lady Luck, darn it, you yeah, know, know what? Hey, yay, you know, man, that's the way it is in life. Life's not always fair, and it, it, it's disappointing. And it's a good thing we're just talking about football. Well, I I just wonder. They say sometimes you feel better when you got a chance to talk it out. Do you, do you feel any better after this interview or worse? I feel honestly better, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, because I haven't talked to anybody except for my family or my daughter or whatever. I, 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 and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I feel better that uh, I have at least uh, got it off my wow. chest and uh, explain my feelings about what's going on well we're here for you if any time you want to vent about your jets you've got a place here on the michael k show you know that right well michael all right and i'm going to be watching the jets i'm not quitting no. on them i'm going to watch you and i'm pulling for them but uh boy they need to make some changes and starting with on the field or on the sidelines or upstairs man they, they need to get better well joe try to enjoy the rest of the season we'll talk to you soon stay healthy man <laughs> All right, we win some games. Uh, we'll enjoy it. All right, that's the great Joe Namath. He wants scorched earth. He, he wants everybody gone. It's a personnel problem. It's a coaching problem. Listen, if, if he's right, then where are you going?